So with this, I would like to start a quote saying, though, listen to what people say and what people don't say. Unspoken words usually the most as they would be a hidden secret or truth. So with this, let's begin our meeting and a mission of Toastmasters Club as well. So the mission of Toastmasters Club is to provide a supportive and a positive learning experience in which members are empowered to develop communication and leadership skills resulting to self, greater self, confidence and personal growth. In every Toastmasters Club, we follow these practices. First, if you're not the speaker, please put yourself on mute. Second, if you are moving, please switch off your camera to avoid distractions. Three, please avoid taboo topics such as sex, religion and politics. Four, please attend the meeting with formal attire. Five, guest, kindly prefix your name with the word guest, that is guest followed by your name. So I would like to invite today's presiding officer uh, for the day, it's Toastmaster Sharanya. So before introducing her to the virtual meeting, I would like to give her a brief introduction about herself. So she is working in Fidelity Investment as a mobile application developer. She is currently the treasurer of Medley Toastmasters Club and she has been elected for the next year also as well as a current treasurer as well. So she is the uh, she joined Medley in uh, the period September 2019. So with this, I would like to uh, present the virtual stage to Toastmasters Sharanya, please. Uh, thank you, Toastmaster Ramesh. So, good afternoon, Toastmasters and guests. So, we are in 605th meeting of Medley Toastmasters Club. So, as our Toastmasters quote say, where leaders are made. So, the, one of the most favorite quote that I like is, if your actions inspire others to dream more, learn more, do more and become more, you are a leader. With this, uh, let's start the meeting. And uh, we have like few guests today. So can the guests introduce themselves? Uh, I think we have Purna. Uh, Purna, are you able to hear me? <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Can you introduce yourself? Yes. Um, yes, yes. One second. One second. Okay. I'm just setting up. Hi everybody, good evening, warm greetings to all. I'm Poorna. I have a bachelor degree in information technology and I'm in the software industry for five years. I've taken a break in the industry and I've not begun to restart my career. I participated in Toastmasters in my previous tenure in HCL Technologies. Toastmasters Club in HCL comes as HCL Aspirations Club. I have picked up interest in speaking from my sister. I have seen her talk and discuss over various issues around the globe with her friends and family. I, from her, and from few inspirational speeches from internet like Tech Talk, I took to improve my English and articulate words the way I want to express my opinion and feelings. I'm very happy and motivated to be part of this session of Toastmasters. Good evening and thank you all. Thank you, Poorna. Hope you have a great session today. So next we have our guest, uh, Shakuntala. Uh, Shakuntala, can you unmute yourself and talk? My name is Shakuntala. I'm from Sri Lanka. I came from the village. Maybe because of that, I feel a little nervous talking with new people. I was so afraid of meeting people. That's the real reason why I joined Toastmasters, not because to become a speaker or leader, but it helped me a lot. That's, uh, that's the main reason why I visit your club. So I think it will help me to get rid of my fear. Thank you. Over to you, uh, Hope you have a great meeting today. So next we have uh, uh, Vishal. So guest Vishal. <laughs> I am Vishali. I am a school student. One of my relatives told about Toastmaster. Okay. So what's your expectation from Medley Toastmasters? Uh, Vishali, are you able to hear me? No, I think we can move on. So, uh, 
yeah we have come to the with this like uh, let's start the meeting like we have come to the end of the year as well as end of the term uh, july to december 2020 and uh, even though we had like uh, covid pandemics and uh, we did not even miss even a single meeting like even after the lockdown we started with our online meeting we are having a great privilege of being in medley and also we had like uh, two milestone meeting in the previous term like we had 575th and 600th uh, meeting and uh, we had 10 uh, new members who have joined uh, our club and we they gave a very good participations in all the meetings and uh, we have a uh, healthy elections for the next term as well uh, we have a very strong excom group for next term and with this note let me introduce the toast master of the day today so he is an experienced uh, star division director of last year heading our own uh, division k and he is also known as the raymond champions hero with this i would like to hand it over to uh, toast master kalyan over to you thank you presiding officer hello Good afternoon, and welcome you all to meeting number six hundred five of Medi Rose Masters Club. For the benefit of the guests, I'll explain how and what happens in a Rose Master meeting. What happens in a Rose Master meeting is we have prepared speeches, we have table topics, we have evaluation. These things are going to be jargons for the guests. Let me explain one of us. Prepared speeches are we will be having certain project and we will be giving speeches. From that particular project, whatever we are selling them, those things are called prepared speeches. The next session is table topics, and that is usually an impromptu speaking, or we call it as off-the-cuff speaking. The other session which we have is our evaluation. Evaluation is whatever prepared speeches we have given, the set of team will come and evaluate those speakers. This is usually the structure. In certain meetings, we will also have. An education session. Few meetings will have a business meeting, business sessions, and certain report presentation. So today's structure will go this way. We will be having prepared speeches, and then we will be having a report from our past and uh, outgoing president, and then there will be evaluation, there will be table topics, there will be an education session, and we will end the meeting. So today, this is the structure of those master meeting. Today's meeting number six or five. And I went. You would have seen. We would have seen the agenda. We would have seen the meeting has got one particular theme. Every post master meeting revolves around a central theme. So I am being. I'll be called as a TMO. In your regular meeting panel, I'll be the MC of the meeting. I'll be running this meeting, hand holding, running the meeting throughout till the end. So for me to travel along, I have a theme. Today the theme was unspoken messages. This is a term which I hear from my mentor. One day he was thinking about life gives us a lot of unspoken messages. We somehow tend to miss. He gave a classic example. For an example, you are driving, or you are at least traveling in a car. The car, the rear view mirror, gives us an unspoken message. It seems the unspoken message from the rear view mirror is: for whatever happened in the past, just have it as a reference. Don't see your rear view mirror and then drive. See the windshield and drive. The unspoken message which the car gives us, the rear view mirror, your past is to see what happens, and then the windshield is to see. That is, see what are where we get these unspoken messages. These unspoken messages come to you in the form of so many whispers, so many voices to people whom you know, your friends, your relatives. There is a beautiful book by. I don't remember the author name now. It's called Conversation with God. In that book, that particular author says. It seems uh, any answer you want in life, a whisper will come from within. Or some of your friend will say, or you will happen to meet a person. That person will come with an unspoken message. Today, I am going to take unspoken message as the theme. I thought I will relate the unspoken messages which I got from those masters, from many those masters club throughout the year. So I will try now. In this meeting, with that unspoken message, which I have learned from this fraternity. Speaking about, I told you about this meeting structure. I said there will be a general evaluation session. I will be assisted by a next person who, in those master panel, is called general evaluator. 
generally when you talk for today as mohana sundaram so i told you two things mohana sundaram unspoken message from the mohana sundaram our i have to learn from us hard work and determination can get you places see people give you direct messages you all want to come up in life you all want to do something so many things in life i'm seeing mohana for a very long time the hard work and the determination and the focus which he has got has brought what mohan today mohan is the one who is the channel of the world and he works as a quality engineer in creative campus private limited over to mohan sir very good afternoon to everyone hello toastmasters and respected dtms and welcome guest the purpose of the general evaluator is to evaluate everything that take place throughout the meetings during the meeting i will take the notes on everything that happens and it doesn't happen i will evaluate the each participant on the meetings programs and I look for the examples of preparations organizations delivery enthusiasm observation and performance of the duties at the end of the meeting i will give my reports to make my job is i have a team called tag tag represents a timer or counter and grammarians today our timer is a english literature and we graduated from the stella maris college and landed in a banking sector jobs regarding the team of team as to communicate it is not necessary to speak but the message can be communicated through the facial expressions body language but it still understood ladies and gentlemen please welcome our timer toastmaster lavanya thank you uh, mohan good afternoon toastmasters and dear guests as timer i will time the table topic speakers formal speeches and the evaluations i will also alert each speaker of the time they have left using green yellow and red background and a buzzer sound which denotes specific times remaining table topic speakers should limit their remarks to no more than 2 minutes at 1 minute my background will change to green at 1 minute 30 seconds my background will change to yellow and two at 2 two minutes it will change to red for prepared speeches the time allotted is 5 to 7 minutes in length at 5 minutes my background will change to green at 6 minutes it will change to yellow and at 7 minutes it will change to red the individual evaluation should be between 2 to 3 minutes at 2 minutes my background will change to green at 2 minutes 30 seconds my background will change to yellow and at 3 minutes my background will change to red i would request the speakers to pin my video to ensure timer is always available thank you and over to ge Uh, our next role player is a uh, hawk counter he is a native of kallakuruchi and a production manager in the government manufacturing companies ladies and gentlemen uh, please welcome our hawk counter close master peri song uh, thank you ji uh, good afternoon fellow close master and welcome guest my role as hawk counter is to note and keep track of words and sounds used as a crutch or pass filler by anyone who speaks during the meeting the uses of inappropriate interjections such as and well but so like you know as well as sound like a ah, um or will be met with an audible click i will note any uses of the crutch or pass filler words during words mentioned at the end of the meeting when called upon by ge i will submit my report over to ge thank you thank you our counter and uh, our final role player is a uh, grammarian he is a seasoned uh, writer and a speaker in terms of uh, theme of the day is speech and his uh, perspective is uh, when the traffic signal flashes a green light we move on and when it turns red we halt our vehicles when we applaud in the meetings it conveys our admiration so ladies and gentlemen please welcome our uh, grammarian toastmaster tyagarajan sir okay the yeah, first of all salutation to all of you uh, all world gs yes. uh, rama oh, okay i am i am tier chagarajan yes first of all am i visible and audible yes sir please am i visible and audible yes sir you are visible please and audible. play audible 
Yes. Ah, yes. Now I proceed. I get, I get an unspoken message. Okay. Uh, see, I am grammarian, and the word of the day is news. N E W E L G is very simple. N the letter N represents north. The letter E represents east. Letter W represents W. I mean west. And letter S represents the south. So we read together news. That is, this news is originate from all the four directions. Hence the name. In the word news. Now, what are my responsibilities and duties? I will let me enumerate one by one. Number one, yes, uh, the word news. How many times it is uttered by how many speakers? These will feature in my reports. And number two, any un-English expressions will be highlighted. And number three, any flowery phrases. Which feature will also find a place in my report? And last but not least, I reserve the right to give a few suggestions with utmost economy of words in order to improve the improve your speech craft. Thank you all. Thank you, Grammarian, for a wonderful. Uh... Wonderful description about your job, and and without further delays, I would like to shift the gear back to the TM audience. Thank you, Madam Evaluator. Uh, hello, my clients and uh, my dear guests. We are getting into the main part of the meeting. This is called prepared speeches. See, to me, prepared speeches. I come from the previous uh, era of postmasters. I would say we all had one particular manual, which is called as uh, CC manual. This particular manual. Gave us complete life insights. In fact, people who are starting their journey, I will pathways journey, or new doors masters, I will insist. I said I'll insist you to go through the CC manual because it gives you speaking and it also gives you how to live life. It's to me that CC manual gave how to structure my life. The unspoken messages I got from this manual is how to structure, how to have. A, Objective, how to have a subject about what is body language, how to pass whatever I think to the people around. It has got so many titles. I want you to all go through the CC manual, that is Competent Communicator Manual, that has got a lot of direct messages for your speech and your understanding messages for your life. And we have in prepared speeches today. We have two speakers. My first speaker is Narasimhan. Narasimhan is working at Cognizant as a business lead. The unspoken message I get from Narasimhan is somebody can be very calm, serene, and then he can be a doer. He can be a achiever. Confidence and sereness will radiate as it radiates from Narasimhan. This is what Narasimhan today. Before me calling Narasimhan to give a speech, let me call his evaluator Jagannathan to speak about Narasimhan's project. Over to Jagannathan. Thank you, Kalyan. Toastmaster Narasimhan is delivering uh, his uh, "Know Your Sense of Humor" speech from the Innovative Planning Path, Level Three. It's a second elective. He has chosen this out of a list of other projects, which means he must have completed one elective before. So this is a second elective in this Level Three Innovative Planning. The purpose of this speech is for the member to begin developing a collection of humorous stories. and to present a speech that includes humor the member completing this project is working to add humor to a speech through anecdotes and stories the speech should not be a report on the content of know your sense of humor project all the best narasimhan over to you kalyan thank you evaluator a timer please note the timing for this particular speech is 5 to 7 minutes and uh, ladies and gentlemen Presenting Narasimhan, Mission Impossible. Narasimhan, Narasimhan, Mission Impossible. Thank you, Rose Master of the Day, Kalyan, and thank you for that uh, really flattering unspoken message that really came as news to me. 
Uh, good afternoon, fellow Toastmasters and guests. I have a problem. I get really nervous when I talk to women. In fact, I find it even more nerve wracking than delivering speeches at Medley Toastmasters Club. In fact, I would like to talk like Shah Rukh Khan in front of women, but when I open my mouth, in reality, I really talk like a Ma Khan. To give you an example, I was attending this conference in Mumbai. I came across this really beautiful girl. I mustered up all my courage. I walked up to her and instead of telling, Hi, I'm Narsiman from Chennai, I said, I'm Chennai from Narsiman. I got really nervous. My parents knew. They thought, okay, this guy will not be able to get a girl on his own. So let us get him registered at a matrimony site. But only after getting into the matrimony site, I realized just like pathways in Toastmasters, there are different levels which you have to clear before you even get to talk to a girl. First, both the parties must express interest. Then the horoscopes must match. In some cases, there'll be interview by girls' parents and then you will finally get to talk to the girl. Now, there is a villain in this entire process. No, 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 no. It's not the girl's father. It's in fact the astrologer. Finding an astrologer is even more difficult than finding the girl itself. With great difficulty, I found one. And he went through my horoscope and he said, hmm, sunny in south is your problem. Deep down, I knew it is not sunny in south, but sunny in my mouth, which is my problem. After going through all the horoscopes, he rejected one by one. That got me even more frustrated. Then, once the horoscopes matched, the girl's parents will interview in some cases. And you should look at the questions which the girl's parents ask. It is even worse than the table topic questions posed by my friend Shankar. Imagine answering questions like, where do you see yourself five years from now? I mean, I cannot obviously go and tell five years from now, I see myself as father to your grandchildren. Or I cannot go ahead and say five years from now, if I don't get along with your daughter, Priya, I see myself with Supriya. Trisha, Elena, Nayandara. After the interview process, then you get to talk to the girl. And thanks to my conversation skills, none of the girls responded after my first meeting. And like the Indian batting order at the Adelaide test, my hopes crashed. My parents were really very cool during this entire process. Whenever the girl's parents called them up and they told them, hey, you know what? We don't like your son. My parents replied, hey, we also don't like him, but we don't have a choice. In such situations, what you do, you turn to your friends. I had a handsome looking friend called Karthik. He resembled Malayalam hero Prithvi Raj, but all his activities were like villain actor Prakash Raj. He did the following, he said the following suggestions to me. First, change the girl's horoscope. Make it match with yours before you take it to your astrologer. Second, in front of the girl's parents, act like Ambi. Third, when you meet the girl, be like Remo. Trust me, none of it worked. And in the end, I was looming like onion. At the beginning of the bride hut, I was full of fire. After just few months into the process, I was like an Arunda wire. Now, what do you do in such situations? Of course, you turn to God. In my case, I even changed my God to Lord Krishna. Somewhere I heard that he had 16,100 wives. No wonder he is God. Here, I am unable to find even one. The answer to my prayers came in form of my Chitapa, my uncle. Call it coincidence or not, his name is Kannan. Sensing the desperate situation that I was in, he volunteered to help. Now, to tell you something about my Chitapa, he is one of those Peter Chitapas. Even when you talk to him in Tamil, he'll respond back to you in English. He said, son, don't worry. I'll help you board the bus. Another bus? Okay. Then, true to his words, through his connects, he was able to find a good alliance for me, which I thought was a perfect match. Her name was Kalpana. 36, 27, 28. Wait, 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 wait. Don't get me wrong here. Those were the last six digits of her mobile number. After I met and I spoke to the girl, my Chitapa started interacting with her parents. It went on and on. Then one thing led to another. Discussion ended up into a debate. It became a bragging session as to who is better than who. In the end, the alliance never proceeded. Then I realized 
sunny is not only in my mouth it is also in my chitamaya spot it runs in the family and then chitaba did not help me board the bus he put me right under the bus my chitaba acted like katapa in toast masters when you are really down and out when you are looking for guidance what do you do you go to your mentor my friend philosopher guide and mentor in real life is my father my father said be genuine be yourself someone will definitely appreciate who you are for who you are and you'll definitely get married and true to his words i finally got married mission impossible thus became possible well life after marriage is in itself another humorous story i would like to conclude by saying that it feels so special to find that one special person who will annoy you for the rest of your life trust me marriage is like a walk in the park jurassic park over to you toast master of the day thank you thank you over there sir <clears throat> now we we'll move on to the next speaker the next speaker for the day is renu narayan renu narayan is a storyteller by profession and she conducts a lot of workshops in speaking and storytelling the unspoken message which i see on i get not seeing renu was we all want to stand for a cause but we we murder or we will just put it in a whatsapp forward i always seen renu stand for a cause the word i can transpoken message boils down to a single word to me with renu as crusader before me calling renu to the stage let me call her evaluator shankar to tell her speech objectives shankar mm, thank you kalyan um today uh, toastmaster uh, renu narayan attempting level 2 project 2 for introduction of toastmaster mentoring the purpose of this project uh, is for the member to clearly define how toastmaster envision mentoring over to you uh, renu all the best thank you shankar uh, my dear fellow toastmasters renu is just presenting a speech from a presentation mastery level 2 path 2 and introduction to mentoring Renu Narayan, keep an open mind. Keep an open mind, Renu Narayan. Thank you, T. M. Modi. Raju was in grade eight. One evening, he came home feeling very anxious and scared. He had failed in math. He was sure his father was going to shout at him. In the evening, when he gave his paper to his father, he was already crying. There was silence for some time. His father looked at the paper. Then he looked at Raju, and then he said, "Raju, you have failed in math, but it's not the end of the world. It's okay to cry, but you need to do something about it. Let's go through the question paper together." So Raju wiped away his tears and sat down next to his dad. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters and guests. You must be wondering why I shared this story with you. There's a reason behind it. you know that we have many mentors before we even get into a professional job in raju's case it was his dad yes parents are our very first mentor who is a mentor someone who guides us helps us to achieve our goals isn't that it isn't am i am i right or wrong how many of you agree with me on this okay thank you mohan So for Raju it was his dad, and for me it was my mom. As I was growing up, and I was old enough to make my own decisions, she gave me complete freedom. What kind of decision decisions she would ask? The kind of clothes I wanted to wear, whether I wanted to keep my hair short or long, what kind of subjects I wanted to choose when I was in college, when I wanted to get married to, and whom I wanted to marry. All these decisions she left to me, and I think from a very young age, that's how I learned to be independent, and that's the job of a mentor. And of course, mentors are not just parents; they're teachers, lecturers, and of course later on managers, colleagues. For me, I went to school, I went to college, but in different places. So frankly, I cannot recall anyone who played a significant role as a mentor in my life. As far as My job is concerned. When I joined the workforce, 
I shifted from job to job. And again, I can't really recall anyone who actually mentored for me, mentored me for a particular period of time. When I came to Medley, that's when I realized what an important role a mentor plays in the new Toastmasters journey. When I was formally inducted into Medley, I was asked to choose a mentor. I decided to ask Sunil Jo. He was very popular and very approachable. He agreed at once and my journey into Toastmasters started. I delivered my first speech, my icebreaker. I'll never forget that day. October 7th, the venue was completely new. IITM Research Park and North Gandhinagar Club. There was a large audience. My very first speech, I was very nervous and I stumbled. I was very disappointed in myself. But after the meeting ended, Sunil Jose, who was present at that meeting, came over to me and said, Renu, I'm surprised that you fumbled. But don't worry, you'll do an excellent job next time. Those words reassured me. I continued my journey, gave speeches every now and then. Of course, my confidence levels went up. But sometime in April 2019, Sunil Jose became very busy with his professional life as well as his own journey in Toastmasters. And I decided that I needed another mentor. I approached him, he gave me the go ahead, and I chose Kriya Dashini. My journey as a speaker continued. Every time I sent her my script, she would either give me an all right, okay to my speech script, or she would give me some very valuable suggestions which helped me give a better speech. My journey continued, and finally, in March on 7th, to be particular this year, I completed my past leadership development by giving my last speech on that day, 550th milestone speech. Priya was present and she appreciated and congratulated me on accomplishing that speech. At the same time, I was also very happy because I took on the mantle of a mentor. Sudha, who had joined Toastmasters in January, chose me and I was very happy to accept her choice. But unfortunately, it was short term, short lived, because after she completed level one, this year she did not renew her subscription saying that her work pressure was too much. And so my journey continues. I've chosen a new path, presentation mastery. This is my sixth speech. But I wanted to share two things with you. One is that if you have a very good mentor right through your life, starting from parents to teachers to employers, whatever, most likely you will become a good mentor too. Second, a mentor protection relationship is not always one way. It's a mutual learning experience. And this I can tell you for a fact. Because outside of Toastmasters, my daughters who have grown up now have become my mentors. The roles have reversed. When March 2020, the COVID happened, everything went online. And I was at a loss. I was actually just making a foray as a storyteller. And I was lost. How was I to make myself visible now? And that my daughter came home because of college shut down. I learned a lot from her. How to create video, she created a YouTube channel, she created an Instagram handle. I kept troubling her every now and then. I think there was one day when I was so busy, I wanted to get something done, it was just not happening. I rushed up to her bedroom and said, Udra, Udra, you've got to help me. And she turned to me and said, Ma, I'm busy with my project. Please go and Google it and find out for yourself. I was very upset. But I came down, sat at the computer, Googled, struggled, struggled, but finally I found the solution. And that's when I realized that a mentor only holds your hand as long as it's needed. Only suggestions are not actually doing the work for you. And that was a huge learning for me. So the second thing I learned, like I said, was it's a mutual learning experience. We keep exchanging roles even now. I'm the mentor, she's the protege, sometimes she's the mentor, I'm the patient. So there's nothing to do with age. As long as you have an open mind, as long as you're willing to learn, learning can happen anytime, everywhere with anyone. That's it for now. Over to you, Toastmaster Thank you, Renu. A very fellow Toastmasters and guests, with this, we end the prepared speaking session.
we will be moving on to the next session in the agenda before moving on to the next session may I request the timer to give the qualified speakers this is for the vote counter my dear toastmasters and guests you will be given a you will be getting a poll to vote at that particular time you can vote for the best speaker as of now i'll request the timer to give the names of the qualified speakers alone for the benefit of the vote counter timer so uh, toastmaster jasmin and toastmaster renu both are qualified thank you very much uh, <clears throat> let me uh, move on to the next session friends this is a very special session in today's meeting we all know every excom terms a uh, six months jan to june and july to december this particular excom term is getting end by this particular month the new excom is going to come in the month of january So here we are going to present a report. A past president, I mean, an outgoing president is going to present a report of what all happened this half year. That is about the session. To speak about distinguished toastmaster Thomas, I told you every one of us radiate a spoken message, an unspoken message. When you work with Thomas, sir, you will always feel what? Why this much of questions he has got with us? But after working with them, one because I have got an opportunity of working with them on so many projects. Once you get to know after the work, and then the amount of messages which he has passed on to you will be immense. The learning which you have worked on with them will be immense. That is the power of the unspoken message comes to come. I was just narrowing down on few words you get from every individual whom we have worked with or whom are going to the role players today. perfection and i for details are the two two main things which i can just give it to distinguished toastmaster thomas now may i request our outgoing president distinguished toastmaster thomas abraham to have his report you are on mute sir thank you uh, kalyan that's motivating as usual part of the leadership ladder that you are climbing i appreciate that immensely uh, may i please have the screen share rights so i guess it's already yeah. can you... yes ama is is my screen visible yes sir thank you here we go thank you very much once again uh, ladies and gentlemen my uh, co medlians for giving me your ears what i would like to do is to take you back to 4th of july when taking on the terms responsibility we said a few things we said the terms focus would be on fundamentals specifically on meeting quality on maximizing speech slots evaluations and mentoring i would like you to judge the last the current term in in, in this context as as objectively as i can i must bring this to your attention that we had a unique situation of two milestone meetings in one term it doesn't happen it happens less than once in a blue moon that's a fortune all of us had we had two debates three joint meetings themed meetings like august 15 which i believe injected an element of patriotism in all who were born after independence and all of us are that we had 15 visiting toastmasters a thing i'm pretty happy about because that brought some value which is invisible we had surprise sessions i believe about 17 of them including today's surprise we removed the surprise so that more people will come and listen to doctor otherwise it would have been a under the wrap invisible unspoken session and i must say this to you kudos to the volunteers who filled in when drop out breaches happened i'm thankful to a lot of brave people who did that most and more thankful to those who did it at the last moment uh ramesh rajendran features and i don't want to go into names i thank all of you you were the architects of medley meetings quality thank you for that i also want to again be as impersonal as possible looking at what guests and members said i noticed that punctuality was appreciated by members and in the 34 voices of medlians that came prominently as also for efficient trim meetings thank you 
again not on behalf of the role players who made this possible see we always uh, suggest creativity but within the allotted time and timer became supreme and he ruled ruled over everybody that's how we managed this efficient punctual trim meetings we added 10 new members why i'm saying this every new member is sitting in an interview we are being interviewed medley was interviewed by 10 uh, and 10 guests said medley is worth joining so it's full credit to medley and once again thank you my dear role players coming in at early phoning up preparing no doing your script and being within time and putting in your best effort especially allow me to say medley has reached a new level in terms of the dexterity and the visual display quality brought out by our tag players it has it has been commented by outsiders also kudos to all you guys it will help you in your job by the by your interview your uh, promotion will come faster then you will thank medley second aspect was based on our experience the last term we thought we had to increase the demand for uh, increase the uh, roles but that didn't happen maybe it's the effect it was the effect the fatigue effect of work from home there was low demand for slots on a comparative basis also unfortunately we had dropouts are plenty leaving eight speech slots gone way, going a banking now another impact of that friends may not be visible or unspoken was it delayed the agenda making so the promise we had made we we failed in that no no problem in 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 admitting to that evaluations we had master evaluations four times by seniors so that we correct individual opinions by people and make it more uh, you know balanced and we had proficient evaluators including dtms four of the dtms and uh, district evaluation finalists friends what we presented last week which was seen uh, which was not noticed was a uh, half of the upcoming finals of the district con uh, district contest four of them were there incidentally i am not claiming any cause and effect uh, uh, you know claims here ahmedly it has reached the district 120 evaluation finals matter of pride for us fourth is mentoring again i have no hesitation in saying that we allowed the medleys to choose their men, uh, men mentors there's a mistake here mentors as soon as they joined but i must accept that i missed in doing something we promised we will do we wanted to have meetings between the two groups we wanted to inject some enthusiasm i'm afraid we did many other things but here we came a cropper very easy to say the next committee will do it but i'm sure considering the profile of our medlians we need to do this so that the young talent blossoms i'm sure we will do it governance a few things i want to bring to your attention the special committee that's been formed which is doing its work and hopefully sugandhi tells me she wants to present it as a pongal gift to medley once that happens friends subjectivity will go away and the new excom will have a firmer footing so that they will not get foot wrong footed and they also would know what are the responsibility to members i must confess to you friends there were many things i learned this year about the conduct uh, because unfortunately it's not uh, you know it's not written about whatever and medley did not have a codified set of rules for the last few years we will correct that i'm thankful to uh, sugandhi for taking on the initiative and doing the real grunt work i'm also happy to say elections were held as earlier than ever before i remember in medley's history on 14th of november giving the new team more time to be in the saddle before the year turns around financials july december 2020 accounts are nearly ready the last of the pending uh, payments were made by treasurer sharanya yesterday we are only waiting for the bank statement so that we could add those five things and i'm very happy and i'm thankful to sharanya that we've been able to turn a new corner in medley this year we will present it in jan 2011 21 we have had a savings of something like 46000 rupees neat 
which we had discussed, we would uh, work out how it can be refunded. With all that, we are not touching the one point, sorry, the 1.2 lakhs that we got from Speakathon, a uh, speech craft, also the 2,000 per member we got from nine members. That is intact. That is not touched. We also paid something like 44,000 rupees of last year's due. No credit to anybody for this. Just that we didn't have meetings. Our expenditure were very, very low. Details of which, when we have the AGM on in Jan, we will go through. Sorry. Yeah. And net net, 1.2 lakhs will be added to the surplus, which will balloon to 5 lakhs, making Medley an interesting, interesting place to be as a member. It's like having cash balance for a company, right? Or and reserves. Anyway, we'll use it to, for our marketing of membership. Branding and promos, again, a matter of happiness that you know that we change the branding at the district, uh, at the uh, level of the, uh, the organization. We brought out Medley newsletters after I don't know how many years. I remember Aravind's time helping him bring out one. I'm very happy. I, I, was, I, I was happy personally. I could team up with Narasimhan and we could bring this out. Medley of the Month Awards. Again, in a high-profile club like Medley, how do you distinguish between the very good and the better? There, we could bring out, we could bring this uh, thing back. The Medley of the Month Award went on without any hindrance every month. And I'll tell you who to thank at the end. Club Anthem. We never had a club anthem, thanks to Jagan. And club video, thanks to Varshini, who did it all single-handedly for 575. I'm thankful to that Lady Bahubali. We have both of them are now on our website. And I do not know of many clubs in District 8, 120, or 82 for that matter, that have an anthem and a club history on their website. Brand compliant promo. Narasimhan has really mastered Canva. And now we are in, in, the, in the safe hands, able hands of Ramesh. Overall performance, if you ask me, we are already a president distinguished club, which is nothing new for a club like Medley. We always do it halfway through. Again, we have done that. History repeats. Interestingly, the most more difficult met, uh, method now applied for Golden Gavel, we are in with a good chance. If only we can repeat on the performance we had this year. And I'm sure we will. And uh, let me end with uh, 10 new members we added. And uh, not many did that. And we are currently 46. And that puts us in the top 46, top six in, med, in, in, in District 120's 178 odd clubs. Smedley Award we won. We missed 880 by a whisker. But we have the next term to make up. So now, a big thank you, honestly, from the bottom of my heart, no hollow words. Members, obviously, you made these things possible by being present, by being members. Thank you for that. Role players, my, if I have to, uh, you know, apportion, credit, role players, walk away with it. They made the difference between disastrous meetings and brilliant meetings. And we had a lot more brilliant meetings than not so great meetings. Mohanasundaram, because he did the grunt work of every month bringing out the medley of the month award. And I've tried that. It is, it is real grunt work. It is boring work, difficult work, painstaking work. I must point out, I must single out Mohanasundaram for volunteering and doing it. Ramesh and Shankar, they were the two who spearheaded speechcraft. Ramesh, I must mention to you, he did not get any credit because Shankar was the first one who confirmed it. Yet, Ramesh teamed up with Shankar to do a brilliant job and not to forget the, 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 the entire video work he did for 600 and leading his team. Pranav, I don't think he's present. Friends, I've never seen in the six years a more impeccable contest conducted. Not one wrong comma. It's not easy. I don't know how he pulled it off. Quietly, he did it all by himself because Regu and myself, we let him do it. Only one or two things when he had a problem, he turned to us. He coordinated directly with the chief judge. These are examples, friends, to follow. And to my XCOM, definitely. XCOM, allow me to say a sentence about each of them. I hope, timer, I'm still on within time. 
Okay, here goes. Regu is a quiet guy, unshakable, always smiling. And more importantly for me, he gave me sound advice. Balanced advice. Not so easy. When you are, you will all see it. When you are at the top, you can falter. There, the crutch of a sound advice, unbiased advice. That's what uh, Rigu gave me. And as an XCOM member, he brought the idea of surveys. First time, he brought the marketing principles. He brought changes in the uh, from his uh, 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 his experience elsewhere. Unfortunately, I feel bad for Rigu that he had to do his agendas four times to five times every meeting. I hope his, uh, his successor will have a better time. Saravanan, I call him the lighthouse because lighthouse is from where you can see the ships coming farthest. Saravanan has a network. He had the experience of having worked in Ford uh, uh, in an official level. He knew things coming. He was a very good alert for Medley. And uh, he had an opinion, which is always important to get the filter of a second opinion. That was Saravanan. And he strived his best to get the membership. Unfortunately, COVID's number one casualty was Medley's 880. Narasimhan, he learned Canva. He came he, to, to do that. He conquered Canva. And working with him, teaming up with him, I now know that he has also fairly mastered designing of magazines. I mean, he had war going on in his office most of the time, but he always kept his word and delivered. Thank you, Natsiman, for that. Uh, on to Renga. Renga is our go-to man. You know that. I, I would not say anything because everybody knows that. But Renga had patience. Renga had perseverance. And uh, as two unemployed people, now, of course, he's employed. Uh, you know, I could hit it off very well and uh, we had the time for each other. I enjoyed the company Renga gave me in that sense. You know, intellectual and otherwise. Sharanya. Sharanya, I knew the real Sharanya at uh, Medley 600. The entry she made, she enlivened. She said that she has kept the her uh, financial papers in the in the, uh, in the the outbox. No, where is that? In the, in the dumb box or something. I mean, that, she was brilliant. More importantly, she has a knack of finding things others overlook. That's been her greatest merit. And again, may I say this to you with some pride? I don't remember in a long, long time the terms financial being pakka and ready to go to Shankar, the internal audit, before the term was over. Kudos to uh, Sharanya for that. And the last of the entries that I saw that day was of Ramesh. Ramesh was again another another evangelist who came in when there was no one taking on. Half a role nobody takes on, but Ramesh is made differently. I know that. He wants to improve every opportunity it gives him. Ramesh's entry was the greatest that day. You know, be it the way he called uh, what is that? I don't, I can't replicate that. I often wonder, maybe that's the real Ramesh. And the person we see at the XCOM, maybe he, he, a special version he has made of himself. But fantastic guys working with you. Uh, and of course, not to mention, I've already mentioned some of the XCOM extended people. All of you together made it possible. Thank you very, very much. And to the members, I know in the last one year plus, I made some mistakes. Mistakes not intentionally, errors. Thank you for overlooking it. I appreciate that personally very, very much. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. My dear fellow Toastmasters, this definitely needs a big round of applause. Yeah. Thank you. It was being a president, and it's, it's a great learning, and I really know what it takes to steer the ship and then run on, and so many things, because especially so many mentions, whatever our outgoing president mentioned, it was done. We all saw that on the report. Now we'll move on to the next session. Our next session is a very special session for Toastmasters. Otherwise, why will the Toastmaster go and get a copyright for this particular session? A copyrighted session of Toastmasters, table topics. The theme today we are running on is unspoken messages. See, on unspoken messages comes to you when you think, when 
you take a pause, when you listen, that's what I told you at the beginning. It seems you hear a whisper from your heart when you need answers. Or somebody will come and tell you what to do. Or some memory of yours, some experience of yours will help you what to do. To me, the next session will start. Situation, it gives you a memory. Somebody tells you what you want. You need to think on so many things can happen exactly in this particular session. To speak about this session, I will have uh, Saravanan. Before turning over the stage to Saravanan, let me introduce Toastmaster Saravanan to you. Toastmaster Saravanan is a current XCOM member and he works at Ford as a delivery helper in IT. To speak about Toastmaster Saravanan, I told you, as in unspoken, I get a lot of unspoken messages from all these people and Toastmasters from Toastmaster in our search. But Saravanan, I get a direct message. He says, man, there is no unspoken message. Anything and everything, we direct. That's the message I, an unspoken message to be a direct member. Be direct is the message I get from Saravanan. Over to Toastmaster Saravanan to conduct table topics. Thank you, Toastmaster of the day for the nice introduction. Thomas Alva Edition once mentioned, our greatest weakness lies in giving up. The most certain way to succeed is always to try just one more time. Table topics is also like that. You will be finding variety of questions thrown at you. There will be a lot of challenges thrown at you. But this is to develop your impromptu communication skills. Table topics will help in four essential skills in your personal as well as in your professional life. One is listening, thinking, organizing, as well as in speaking. So you will be given two minutes of time. So you have to talk for at least one minute and you will be given a red, green light once, once you cross that one minute. And when you cross one and a half minute, you will be given a yellow, yellow signal. And at the end of two minutes, you will be given red signal. So try to talk for two minutes. And as, as much as possible, I would encourage you to use the word of the day that is news. Now let us go into the table topic session. Let me share my screen. Let me know whether you're able to see or not. Can you see my screen? Yes. Okay. So uh, first, First of all, I would like to call Toastmaster Surya for the first topic. Toastmaster Surya, are you ready? Yes, I am. This is your topic, Toastmaster Surya. If you have given a time machine, what will you do? So just read out, read out this. Some days I wish I could go back in life, not to change anything, but to feel a few things twice. Toastmaster Surya, over to you. Thank you so much, TT Master, Postmaster Sarvanan. Good afternoon, all. Uh, if I wish to go back, travel back to the past, I would uh, definitely prefer prefer to get back to my childhood days, uh, as most of us would definitely be interested, right? Uh, especially the school days that I studied in school, actually. So I was so mischievous uh, while I was studying in school and I studied in one of the most strict schools in, in my area, actually. So people would be like afraid to join uh, that particular school, but I still you know, uh, did not change myself and uh, be mischievous as much as possible and enjoyed my life without even studying well. So I would definitely prefer that particular uh, uh, state of my life to move and just to enjoy that particular uh, uh, decade which I studied uh, from my sixth standard to 12th standard, which I still remember. Over to you, Kitty Master. Thank you, Toastmaster Surya. That was a nice 
um, page of your life. Thank you for sharing that. So next one is Toastmaster Sundaresan. Do you have Toastmaster Sundaresan with us? Yes, yes, table topic, Master. Yes. Toastmaster Sundaresan, this is your topic. Okay. Uh, just see this picture and provide a caption as well as discuss what is going on in this picture. Just go through this picture and let us know what is your caption and let us know what you think about this picture and talk about that. Yeah, good afternoon, Toastmasters. I can see a line and a cup uh, coffee mug. Fine, to start with, line symbolizes always the courage and takes care of the herd, being the male with a lot of mane around. The nature of the line is to take care. Taking care is a must for the head of the family and for the breadwinner. And coming to this mug of coffee, certainly we all relax ourselves in the working environment, even and at our house with a mug of coffee, just I have on my table now. I came with this at uh, green tea. Coming to the, uh, keeping away from the philosophical part and coming to this uh, as a representing in our life, courage is a must. As we say in Toastmasters, not only for speaking, for listening also. Because speakers prepare and come and listeners have to listen and absorb and register in the mind for the sake that individual becomes a leader and good for the society. And for the coffee mug, I can say even though it's hot, it holds it, it takes care of the temperature. The same way we have to face the situation and take care of ourselves, whether it's up or down, being is a roller coaster is part of our life. So I can say courage accomplishes something and being cool and managing the temperature within us manages the cup and both are required as two sides of a coin in our life. Thanks for giving a positive topic over to Table Topic Master. Thank you, Toastmaster Sundarese. Thanks for sharing your coffee with lion moment. The next talk goes to Toastmaster Ramesh Murugan. Toastmaster Ramesh Murugan, are you ready? Yes, uh, table topics master. But I am not ready. One just a minute. <laughs> okay, fine. So these are all uh, word collage. Okay, can you tell a story using these words? Thank you. Uh... Uh, Toastmaster Sarunan, uh, fellow Toastmasters and dear guest, graph note. So the topic given to me is a little collage, tell a story using these words. Great mouse, board, building, rectangle, shop, tool, struck, hello. Yeah, very nice. I think all these words, jumbled words is good. I think a lot of uh, unspoken messages are hidden in these uh, words. But one thing I wanted to share that in 2020, our life also started like this, you know, given a lot of college kind of information. Hopefully, I think in 2020, when we start, I think uh, we need to organize our thoughts and uh, prioritize our essentials. Uh, what is must we have in life? I think uh, that is the most important thing we need to uh, have in 2021. And uh, coming back to uh, this uh, story, I see that uh, uh, 2020 is going to be great. Uh, 2021. I mean, 2021 is going to be a great year for everyone. Uh, and uh, I see shops are all opened and uh, I'm very close to West Side. People are having a lot of fun in the year-end season, a lot of purchases happening. And uh, after the lockdown, the truck movement started and tools getting you no know, being used. So we need to get back to the drawing board. I see board is there. We need to get back to the drawing board. A true reflection uh, is uh, what worth doing uh, by uh, end of this year. And uh, we need to spend a lot of time within our buildings. I think that's what we are doing that. But it would be good to spend quality time with our family members and do a true reflection of what went well in 2020. And, uh, and the true reflection really helps. 
I personally started uh, practicing uh, three things every day now, yeah. and I would like to share that so that I will uh, re-emphasize that to continue that rhythm. One is uh, daily affirmation. I started doing the daily affirmation and uh, uh, small meditation, and then the uh, introspection for every day. Hope I'll continue in 2021. Over to Toastmaster Sarvan. Thank you, Toastmaster Ramesh. Now I will use my use my mouse to go to the next person. So the next person is Toastmaster Amita. Toastmaster Amita, can we go to the next topic? Uh, yes. Okay, fine. So this is the old Nokia phone which is being used. I mean, which was used 15 years or 20 years back. Can you sell this to a teenager now? Interesting question. Uh, thank you, DT Master, for this really interesting yet impossible question to answer. I have a small suggestion. Instead of selling this to a teenager, you can sell this to all parents of a teenager. They will be so very well happy to get such a phone for a teenager, even if that teenager doesn't want it at all. I actually in real life came across a situation where because. Uh, Uh, when i was in my 12th grade when my board exams were going on so one of my friends were overusing her uh, smartphones so her uh, mother got really irritated and she actually broke the phone and then since uh, you know board exams were really nearing and she didn't want anything to disturb my friend she had to buy a nokia phone the exact phone which you showed on the ppt presentation she had to buy that and guess what my friend was very well willing to even take that phone at that kind of a situation so giving situations like these when there is no other option of anything else and uh, instead of just having nothing if at all there comes a situation like that i think this phone is the best seller and i think as i said even if uh, teenagers don't buy it even now even in a point of time where everything is available i'm pretty sure the parents will be really happy to go back in time and change the whole technology aspect of smartphones off and get the new nokia phones to them over to you sir thank you to us masamita in olden times we use it as paper weight <laughs> so we move on to the next topic um, for the next topic i would like to call upon toastmaster atishay toastmaster atishay can we have you for the next topic yes sir nan hi thank you okay so this is an open ended question did you know that i once you can tell truth or lie whatever it is but it is up to you prashna abhishek atishay up to you yeah did you know that i once won the international speaking competition that is held once a year at toastmasters uh, organized by toastmasters international it was in the year 1984 when everyone was celebrating india winning the world cup i was there in new york city in a in a very large hall standing in front of an audience of thousands giving out my speech that i had prepared at the very last minute two minutes before the conference and i was giving my speech confident as ever looking at the crowd and everyone was enthralled everyone was amazed and everyone uh, in the middle of my speech i was narrating a story that story was about a table topic session uh, in the club where i had that i had joined just two days before it was called medley it was based in chennai although i had never been to chennai but i was a part of that club and i was telling them about how i had got on a table topic i was attending a table topic session and there was a person called sarvanan who gave me a topic about an experience uh, to, uh, asking me to narrate a story that could or could not be true and then i told them how that inspired me to you know participate in the international speaking competition and that is how i went up to new york uh, i came to new york i was on that stage giving a speech in front of them and then i saw the timer's yellow card and i realized that okay this is uh, enough about sarvanan i have to win this competition so i need to end the speech in time to prevent being disqualified and that is when i stopped bowed in front of the audience got a lot of standing ovations walked out of the stage happy remembering sarvanan for giving me this opportunity thank you back to you table topics master thank you dosmas adishay i wish that comes true <laughs> so we move on to the next topic uh, for that i would like to get dosmaster venkat 
100% to be ready yes 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 uh, sir you can go ahead okay yeah first muscle vegetation um imagine your house is at the top of this cliff okay or mount everest and you have to define why it is a nice place to live first muscle vegetation thank you for the nice topic tip to big muscle define define why it is a nice place to live i agree that uh, i am a person with more positive attitude wherever i stay i want to keep the colleagues the friends where either in the workplace or in the house or in the discussing with the uh, roadside uh, walking uh, walkathon members and other things i want to keep busy with a positive attitude i myself will represent like the politicians like the councils used to work with me and i will talk about the politics the senior managers from air force they will talk about the air force things and other things we used to discuss with that also and chartered accountants plus advocates i i'm like a chameleon like i used to coordinate rather i used to adapt themselves and i will listen that that is why wherever i will live i will be i will do 100% either in eating in a house or taking bath or going out i will fix the time and everything should be in order that is why but i deny that i am ready to sleep even in the floor without mat and i am ready to sleep i either in the five star hotel because life you cannot expect everything but you should know how to adapt each and everything life is a lesson for each and everything when it is success okay don't take it to the end when it is a failure please learn the lesson from the failure next time you are not supposed to do it i would like to conclude my speech life is full of positives and negatives positives we have to take it in our mind vibration the positive vibration will guide you to face your negatives in your life thank you for the nice topic Thank you, Toastmaster Venkatesan. That was a nice way of putting things because adaptation is a key. Thanks for bringing that positivity. So the next topic for that, I would like um, Toastmaster guest Shakuntala to be ready. Okay, sure. Okay, Toastmaster okay. Shakuntala, this is the topic for you, 2020. But the key here is you have to talk about 2020, but you have to avoid four words. One is virus. Corona, COVID, work from home. Except this, you can talk about anything. 2020 is a wonderful year, I think. Because people almost forget about the family and everything. They all started running around money because they, they think that is the most important thing in life. But this 2020 made something. So everyone stay at home. They look what is happening. What's the wife or the other members doing at home? The most of the men learn about cooking and there is a lot of harmony in, her, in the house because people try to understand each other. They, they just involve in charity work. They help the poor people. They almost all the things. I think this is the way because in early age before people just, this is the way they live because end of the day, what is the life? The purpose of the life is happiness. We don't need to earn money. We don't need to study too much or anything because the real purpose is that. I think this 2020 made us see that thing because living happily is the main purpose of life. That gave the opportunity. Almost another thing, you don't need to run after anything. You kill what is life about. I think this way we all understand about the life. Over to you, Table Topic Master. Thank you, Toastmaster uh, Sagantala, for that wonderful way of representing life. That is a key message. We have to take it forward. Thank you for that. So the next topic, um, I would like to call upon Toastmaster Ramesh Rajendran. Ramesh, are you ready? Are, are you ready? Yes, sir. I'm ready. Yes, sir. Yeah. Fine. Money is the root of all evil. Do you agree or not? A debate about that. Yeah, true. Uh, money is truly a root cause of all evil. Yeah, even even how however the good relationship or however the good uh, joint family, even uh, if you see uh, the news, 
we see we read many thing in the news uh, many joint families are split into nuclear families because of money uh, even i have uh, recalled some even if you see a serial i guess how many people uh, watch a serial i'm not aware but uh, since it's a work from home time i guess we have mostly indulged in serials many serials will see uh many uh, the big joint family at the starting of the stage during the end of the climax you would see many nuclear families it all takes place because of money itself because someone wants i want this property someone wants i want this property everyone has collisions no one comes to an uh, no, no one comes to an uh, same page and all of them get split because of money itself even in fact uh, we have read many news regarding uh, the scams which all took place uh, It's, this all took place of money only so money is essential i'm not saying no money is essential but you should not take it as an important thing in your life it's like a ganesha is having a, a um, rat so the rat is the desire you should write above it you should not let it ride you so money is important but not let money ride ride on you you should write on the money so with this i would like to uh, conclude this uh, Table topics back to table topic master. Thank you, Toastmaster Ramesh. That was a good way of uh, representing things. Thank you. Uh, for the next topic, I would like to call upon um, the guest Purna. Purna, are you ready? Yes, I am ready. Okay, fine. Uh, guest Purna, your topic is this: the day I met. This is an open-ended topic. you can fill in the blanks okay you can mention any celebrity or anybody okay so that i mean you can talk about those stuffs okay uh, so uh, it was the day when i met my husband harish so it was a, it was a, it was one uh, morning when i when i had the feeling that i am not going to get past all the fears that i have in my life and once i just Threw all the fears out and started walking along the way towards his uh, his uh, place where we met. It was almost like a dream that has passed me of my life, my future, my past, my present, and everything. And then uh, it was the moment when I saw him. And then it was it was it was then I understood that the value of life is not just about thinking of the future, past, or what the person is. Human being is a humanity. as a humanity we should think that he is a human being and we don't need to understand life much more than that so that is uh, that is the uh, that is the point that i wanted to say and uh, back to table topics people thank you thank you uh, guest for now that's a nice way of looking at things and doing positively and we have one last topic um, i would like to call guest vaishali guest vaishali are you there Looks like we don't have guest Vaishali, uh, but call. This is the last topic, so I'd like to call upon Toastmaster Dinesh. Dinesh, are you there? Yes, sir. Okay, fine. So, Dinesh, your topic is this: What if nothing exists and we are all in somebody's dream? This was told by Woody Allen. What is your take on this? Won't it be superb, everyone? Won't it be uh, superb if we just get up? tomorrow morning and they see that there is no covid particularly when this point of time and last week you came to say that there is another covid in britain which is 70% more stronger virus than this uh, current variant just imagine there would be no lockdown at all you it would have been life as usual it would be not only be somebody's dream it would be everyone's dream that something like this happens and we suddenly wake up where nothing bad ever happened but unfortunately we have to face the reality because reality is something which we cannot imagine uh, which we cannot bypass by ourselves we have to face it and we are facing it uh, we may be even for a further for there may be a lockdown as well in the coming months if the another virus also comes together but we have to take it we have to take it head on because there are other nations across the world which have done even more worse than india and at least india is uh, sustaining a little bit through this virus Uh, because the economy situation as we all know it's very very bad many many people have lost their jobs uh, many people in business they have done to uh, they have come into zero uh, savings they have they are not able to pay their basic salaries 
and even the business owners they are not able to take any substantial portion of the their own business salary for themselves due to this covid this is completely ill timed it's a very very bad situation but still we have to strive and we have to look forward and hope that the coming year uh, or at least the second half of the coming year will be better for everyone and hope is the last thing we cannot leave so i would say that dream may last but the reality is something we have to face thank you and over to you table topic master thank you toss master dinesh that's a nice way of taking things into perspective and coming coming up with that topic thank you for that and with this we have come to the end of this session and i thoroughly enjoyed and hope you also enjoyed over to the toss master dinesh thank you topics master saravanan uh, for the benefit of the vote counter may I request the timer to give us the names of the qualified speakers timer give only the names of the qualified table topic speakers for the benefit of the vote counter my dear friends and fellow dos masters you will be given a poll at that particular time you can vote for the best table topic speaker over to the timer you are on mute timer lavanya yeah thank you so much so uh toastmaster surya toastmaster sundaresan toastmaster ramesh murugan toastmaster amita toastmaster uh, atisai uh, toastmaster venkateshan guest shakuntala toastmaster ramesh rajendran and toastmaster dinesh are qualified thank you timer see this is what uh, what happens in a in person meeting us when the timer calls for this name we all raise our hands and then we identify ourselves who this are for us to recall now to test your memory what who spoke what and then vote for the best table topic speaker when the vote counter calls you for a vote see i speak about unspoken messages sometimes most of the time in life we always feel after finishing something we feel oh my god if it have had if things have been this way we always want to do the little extra to do whatever we have completed or we want to say something little extra for what we have i just want to do a test on this may can i check with an outgoing president is he must say anything which comes in or i can just move on to the next session because the list is huge i'm very sure you don't miss few anything else uh, the dm uh, thomas abraham tmod <laughs> tmod toastmaster kalyan you are clairvoyant you can see everything you are next to god you read my mind i felt bad that i missed an important thing which is what you observe and people would have noticed how could i miss saying this to you sugandhi coming back to medley one day of years ago was an important thing that thing that happened to this club she took on as president and for me it's been a great learning working with her in in the district and here and not because i am a good uh, student but because she is encyclopedic and she has been a great advice uh, in in throughout my uh, task that i completed here i must thank her place on record the benefit medley derived from her thank you very very much uh, tmod thank you thank you uh, thomas sir see uh, i what happens in a unspoken message is life doesn't give you a chance like this once it is done it is done so in that what happens how am i going to listen to the unspoken messages is, as i told you in the very beginning that particular author in this book called uh, conversation with god he says it seems there will be a whisper from within which says hey look do this or sometimes you hear from an outside voice it seems hey what you are doing it has to be done that way probably you would have listened to this one particular song which you wanted to take in our trying to recall for a long time maybe you are driving somewhere somewhere you drop got played these are all the unspoken messages we get we miss most of it and we move on with life but in those masters there is no opportunity of missing an unspoken message because the evaluation your 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 answers to whatever your done comes then and there the next session is going to be a evaluation session to conduct this let me call our general evaluator mohan to the floor toastmaster mohan the session is yours thank you toastmaster of the day to evaluate the narsimhan speech i would like to call the 
Toast Master is a software professional and with a juicy of four years experience in IT sector. And regarding the theme of the day is, is his perspective is a person a person life is an unspoken message. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Toastmaster Nalan, Toastmaster Jagan. Good afternoon, friends. Uh, Toastmaster Narasimhan today delivered the speech. Uh, know your sense of humor from innovative planning, level three, second elective. Comedy is optimism acting out. And this afternoon, we just saw how Narasimhan acted out his optimism from being in a unable or unable to speak to women to marrying into a Jurassic Park. Now, there are six important things. My space, there is no specific objective for me to evaluate. It is just he is evaluating. I have to look at how, hum how humorous his speech is. Now, there are six positives that I see in this speech. First, creating analogy while deriving humor. Now, it is clear when he mentioned matrimony to pathways, he compared matrimony to pathways. He compared Prithvi Raj and Prakash Raj. He compared the Adelaide test, which, whichever happened recently, he compared that. So he creating analogy in your speech to create a situation of comparing and contrasting so that it's easier for the audience to relate to you as well as derive humor from that. That is first positive. The second positive that I see is your wordplay. And it was throughout the speech when you said Chitapa and Katapa. Now, it's not just that and the usage of words, using the words in appropriate places. The second positive that I see. The third that I see is a self-deprecating. The entire speech was self-deprecating, starting, starting till end. When you said, as I said, in, you are unable to speak to women and then it goes to being in a Jurassic Park. It's completely self-deprecating. It's not offensive to anybody. And if you, you are deriving humor out of yourself. Third positive. Now, the fourth th positive that I see is how you set up and twisted. Words that you use, as I said, in the uh, word place uh, sector here, sunny in the south and sunny in my mouth. Now this is setting up the humor. Setting Sunny in south is universal. Everybody knows this. And then you set and twisted it to say sunny is also in my mouth. So that set up and twist is the fourth positive. The fifth thing that I see related to one that you said, pulling your previous humor into the later half of the speech. Now, when he said sunny in South, you also mentioned it runs in my family. And that came in the later half of the speech. So you're feeding off of your own humor to create humor. And that worked really well. So five positives. Now, what are the recommendations? At the start of the meeting, we had a rooster. And there was a pause before the rooster, pause after the rooster. And then uh, somebody, I believe it was the president who came out and then said, now to break the ice, the rooster had come in. So which means the timing of the joke. Now you were Saravadi, you were going on. It was like a thousand wala. Was there a pass? And this is generic feedback, but yet if you compare it to the rooster, which had a pass before and a pass after, that created the impact. So Chitapa, he is also Katapa. That pause that you give there, in addition to the vocal variety, and that is the second thing that I come, in addition to the vocal variety, a flat speech may not create a humorous effect. So in addition to the five object, five positives, if you could work on the timing and the vocal variety, your speech could go on to the next level and win at the humorous speech contest itself. All the very best. Over to you, Mohan. Thank you, Jagan, for a wonderful evaluation. Our last evaluator is... Um, is working in a multinational bank. I would like to welcome Toastmaster Shankar to evaluate the Toastmaster Renu. Thank you, General Evaluator Toastmaster Morgan Sundaram. There is a famous quote which says, my mentor said, said, let's do it, not you do it. I believe the quote is perfect match for your speech today, Toastmaster Renu Narayanan. Let me see how you have achieved the project objective. Since the project is required to define how Toastmaster envision monitoring, today you attempted the speech with four mentors, parents, especially with your mom and daughter. From the Toastmaster side, from the Toastmaster side, you have talked about DTM Sunil and Toastmaster Priya, and also you have shared a couple of examples with each person. Brilliant! This clearly qualifies for your project objectives. Let me see what are the things which I loved about your uh, speech. 
if you see you know any speech which require audience attention initially itself for that different people uses different techniques to hook the audience being you are the storyteller i think it's a kick walk for you to grab the attention initially by telling the small story with the character and also with the the name i mean the how many years which visualize the audience what you are going to trying to say from your next rest of the speech amazing the other side the, the other one which i liked about you you made it the speech is very lively and meditates the chronological order by the way for example you made the first speech in october 2018 and you have faced some of the challenges and dtm sunil came and gave some suggestion came some suggestion then due to some reasons you moved to priya and also finally your daughter with uh, during the pandemic situation the next one which i like the most is during this pandemic situation i think you have lot of things to do but you can't do that what you have to do being for the technical glitches from your hand you you are dependent on your daughter rutra but since she is busy and also she taught some of the techniques what you did that you are not alone uh, you are not alone and also based on our experience and your knowledge you searched some other informations from google and started exploring that informations from uh, from google and started delivering your storytelling that was the uh, that was the one which i like the most i this is also it indirectly says the mentor it's like a root map as a mentee we have to start from whatever the guidance which provided and also we know that for every toastmaster speech it will have a improvement area uh, some of the improvement area i think it would be great for me if you could share some of the example or experience which you had with uh, toastmaster priya or toastmaster uh, you no know, sunil uh, number 2 i felt uh, that uh, except your uh, daughter retra conversation most of the places your tone is flat that could be improved and and uh, the third very important thing is uh, your voice it's uh, not audible up to the level and i need to uh, listen very carefully to get most of the attention and also there was a small technical glitches or the noise at the background on summary overall the speech was brilliant and will be delivered in the toastmaster mentoring but it would be more great if you could share some of the example on mentor and mentee experience over to g thank you toastmaster shankar now we have completed the evaluation sessions let's go and let's get to the detailed report of the sessions toastmaster lavanya could you please read out your uh, timer report sure let me just share my screen so uh, here is the report uh, we have uh, for the prepared speeches both of them are qualified toastmaster uh, narasimhan and renu for uh, table topics of the uh, 10 uh, uh, toastmasters who spoke uh, we have nine who are qualified uh, so uh, as i read uh, these are uh, the qualified uh, names so here you can see the qualified uh, names and i have also given the time and for the evaluations toastmaster jagan and shankar did spill over 3 minutes but uh, they were well within the grace time so uh, they are still uh, qualified so thomas you are you are saying something so you are on mute sir yeah i am saying 330 330 is the max 330 okay Okay, so for the evaluations, we have Toastmaster Jagan, who qualified. So this is my report. Over to Mohan. Thank you, Timer. Toastmaster Perry Sami, could you please read out your account report? So let me share my screen. G.
Sorry, it's taking much more time. Sorry, I couldn't share my screen. Let me open it. Could you read it out, please? Uh, yeah, I will do that. Yeah, Toastmaster, uh, TMOD, Toastmaster Kalyan, or two times. Uh, General Evaluator, Toastmaster Mohana Shundram, so one time. Prepared speeches, Toastmaster Narasimhan, clean speech. Second speaker, Toastmaster Nehru, uh, Re, Renu Narayan. Frequently words and from the table topic session, first table topic speaker, Toastmaster Surya, are four times, so two times, like one time, frequently used words are and. Second table topic speaker, Toastmaster Sundaraisan, are one time and one and two times. Third table topic speaker, Toastmaster Ramesh Murugan, are three times, so one time, frequently used words, I think, and and. Fourth table topic speaker, Toastmaster Amita, are two times, so two times, and and I think frequently used words, sir. Table topic speaker, Toastmaster, fifth speaker, Toastmaster Atishai, so one time, you know one time. Sixth speaker, Toastmaster Venkatesan, but two times. Seventh speaker, guest Saguntala, I think she used it twice. Eighth speaker, Toastmaster Ramesh Raj Rajendran, are two times. Ninth speaker, guest Purna, clean speak, sorry, uh, and then frequently used words. Tenth speaker, Toastmaster Dinesh, clean speech. From the evaluators, first evaluator, Toastmaster Jagannathan, clean speech. Second evaluator, Toastmaster Shankar, clean speech. Thank you. Over to G. Thank you, Toastmaster Pradesh Sami. Our last report is a Toastmaster Tyagarajan sir. Could you please read out your grammarian report? Yes. Am I may yes, I may visible or audible because I don't see anyone's image. Shall I go visible ahead? or audible, sir? Oh okay, okay, visible and audible. See, uh, first of all, the word news was never used by anyone. Number two, in fairness to all of you, there was no any un-English expression. Yes. And number three, equally also, there were no any flowery phrases. Yes. Of course, there was a play of words, but it uh, it was all in Tamil. Yes, yes, yes. It was not in English language. And number over to the number four, uh, I let me give you a few tips, uh, of course, with utmost brevity. And it's all about brevity. Yeah? Taking a coup from the last three teams, yeah? I am proceeding a little bit, I am extending it a little bit further. See, uh, one, one way of economics in the world, the speech is to Use proverbs. Yes. For example, yes, you can use the proverb neither a neither a borrower nor a lender be. Or parting is free sorrow. Or strike the iron while it is hot. This power, it will economize the words and, and the message can be conveyed more productively. And positive. Yes. So now I'll lift, I now I will illustrate it. Yes. You all know the Pranab Bukhji was once finance minister. Now he is no more. But he was also a great Shakespearean scholar. Yes, often you quoted Shakespeare and Rabindranath Tagore. And he presented a budget when he was finance minister. He has he has levied taxes in heavy doses that year. 
because i went through the entire budget speech and he didn't do it merely he said that he was he was with tears and a heavy heart that yes he resorted to this kind of measure he assured the nation that in due course of time the economy would turn corner yes so he was doing it only in the interest of the nation that was the key message but how did he economize the words yes beautifully that is pranab mukherjee he concluded his speech i am cruel only to be kind yes that's it he turned the head of the neck he conveyed a message i am cruel only to be kind but that is taught you kindness that is from shakespeare's hamlet yes hamlet utters this i am cruel only to be kind to his mother jetru chuin yes she quoted it next day there was a ah quoting this this time that he give i was pranam mukherjee was a price high high for his quote i am cruel only to be kind i am very really taxed only in the interest of the nation so it is called oxymora o x y m o r o n o x y m o r o n classic example for oxymoron is yes honest to thief how can you be honest to thief hey are you talk are you talking through a hat jagarajan but he can be used not only in speeches is oxymoron he can be employed even in private conversation i myself have done it when i was president of medli there were multiple problems problems we know always there are challenges for the leadership still when we are president so i was uh, i was racking my nerves because there were power outages and it created so many problems and so one toast must sir how do you feel sir now how i reply painful pleasure that is an oxymoron i yes, he was very much surprised yeah, it was all it was all a painful pleasure that is an oxymoron we can use it even in the not only in private con it can be employed in private caution means you can even use it in the speeches it's a kind of figure of speech so learn proverb and and try to insert them a metaphor allegory that will you can economize the words to a great extent yes thank you all thank you to master jagarajan sir for your uh, for a detailed grammar and report now that's the tag report uh, uh, ji uh, if you allow the time uh, 10 to 20 seconds i will share my screen shortly Thanks for your better understanding. Yeah, thank you so much. I will close it. Thank you, our counter. Thank you. Now let's come to the G report. the meeting started 1 minutes delay exactly at 2 2:56 pm the guest introductions the presiding of the introductions are very well uh let's come to the third um, a speech sessions uh, it was full of fun and uh, full of fun and uh, last table topic sessions table topic sessions are very intriguing and uh, rather than not letting the butterflies fluttering around the waist evaluation sessions were commanding and impeccable sessions now let's come to the recommendations during the speech and i heard the distractions had a, yes i had, a, had heard the di- distractions i request everyone and uh, except the role play except the speakers uh, keep yourself muted and second recommendation is all the role players should come to the meetings before 15 minutes so that 
if so that if any glitches happens our toastmasters are toastmasters are happy to help us and the third one is speakers should check your voice clearance and voice levels before producing a speech because because it keep yourself uh, out of the competitions if your voice is very low and the final one is uh, evaluators should complete the evaluations before the grace time overall it was a nice session and uh, thank you everyone go to those master of the day general evaluator mohan sundram uh, dear friends fellow those masters and guests uh, to speak about the evaluation uh, best evaluator we already read saw in the timer report only one particular evaluator was qualified so when the vote counter calls for the vote you can vote for the best evaluator also so you will be the vote counter will present you a, a poll of vote vote for the best speaker for the best table topic speaker and for the best evaluator in addition to that you can vote for the best role player the role players for today are going to be post master of the day that was myself general evaluator mohan sundara and table topics master saravan that is for the best role player you will be voting and one more vote you will be doing it for the tag player tag as our acronym goes it's timer our counter and grammarian the vote mark vote master will present you one more vote asking for the best tag role player please vote for the best role player the person who did this job well proper thank you for that and now we we'll go on to the next session so next session is uh, going to be our education session the education session today is being handled by a very senior dose master before speaking about this particular dose master let me speak about the session we have been running around and viewing what is unspoken messages dose master meeting to me personally so many messages came through in speaking see every let's take two dose masters present at the stage today speakers who gave uh, table topics the evaluation so many unspoken messages certain things you may be requiring answers for your life for an example <coughs> i just spoke about uh, why you should not even think about uh, what what made you think about family what is importance in that way lot of unspoken messages comes to us in this meeting but an unspoken message as a chunk it comes from in an education session to us whatever we require whatever answers we ask for normally comes in with this particular session today's special session is going to be on pathways project evaluation to present this session we are going to have uh, a very senior course master see what happens here is i have read a quote from old adage which says uh, jack of all trades master of none i always said how that is how it is not possible to master everything here is one particular course master you give him topic to the master that particular topic so jack of all trades master of none is no more valid if you see this particular course master now let me present the stage to distinguished course master sampat saudi rajan for us education session on pathways project evaluation over to dr sampat saudi rajan hello i am audible am i audible yes sir okay actually i am speaking from my mobile because my wifi on the desktop is very fluctuating so uh, the timer please stand 10 minute and then i have another 5 minutes extra for something else okay silva mobile is my name uh, in this mobile uh, can i ask uh, sharanya to uh, do the screen sharing for me um, sure sir i think ranga is having access he'll be doing it uh, ranga okay. just uh, share the screen
I think Rangarajan sir is having some difficulty, so let me share my screen. I'm sorry about this. Give me a minute. I'm able to share my screen. Meanwhile, let me just start. Okay. You please do the screen sharing. Yeah. Let me start. Matching with the mm. matching with the team. Can you see it now? Yes, we are able to yeah, see. Yeah, we are able okay. to see. It. Sorry about that. Yeah, yeah. We will do the slide sharing. The opening title page. Okay, this is Pathways Project Evaluation. Matching with the theme of the day, it is uh, mostly unspoken because people are not knowing exactly what it is. A lot of people, not intentionally, but it so happens. Pathways Project Evaluation is uh, more comprehensive than what we are normally thinking of. We'll come to that. Go to the next slide. <laughs> Please go to the next slide. Yes. Angarajan, sir, can I share the screen? Um, no, is this, is this the... Go to the next slide, the first slide. This is the title page. Go to the next page. Uh, I think there is some technical difficulty. Okay, let me stop sharing. Sharanya, can you share, please? No, yes, sir. Can you do the slideshow? As it's smaller than the full screen. Okay, what is the purpose of evaluation? We all know, let us do the slide sharing. Meanwhile, I will continue. Purpose of evaluation is to give an immediate feedback. That is the most obvious one. But it is also a learning for the evaluator and all the rest. And the purpose of evaluation is to give ideas of improvement and is to encourage in general so that the person will come again and again and give more speeches. So there are two types of evaluations. Uh, one is generic evaluation, another is specific. The generic evaluation is talking about only the speech making, the speaking skills. This is what was covered in the CC manual in the legacy system. Even some of those projects are scattered throughout the pathways, but in the advanced manuals of legacy, each speech was not just a speech. It was a speech under a particular situation or condition so that it had to be tailored for that one. So this is what I call specific because it is specific to the particular project. It is not just a general speech evaluation. Most of the time in contest, we do generic evaluation because we do not know the purpose or uh, the objectives of the particular test speaker. So we take it as a general speech and then do talk about mainly about the speaking skill aspect of that. But in pathways, most of the projects have got uh, uh, specifics for each of those projects. And in fact, many projects have got a separate purpose for the project and separate purpose for the speech also. Please go to the next slide. Can you go to the slide mode, slideshow mode? Yeah, prepare for evaluation. The evaluator has to do something to prepare. For the generic evaluation, we can say a somewhat experienced evaluator is always ready. But for the specific project, we should know a little more, we should do a little more. The first one is the evaluation resource. We have to go through that. In the second page of the evaluation report, each project may have some slightly different or not additional points. Please go through that. What is considered important as a speech-making parameter is listed there. 
and then we have to do a project assessment this is the most important role for a uh, pathways evaluator uh, over and above being a generic evaluator what is the project assessment we have to look at what the project was and how the speaker did it so it is best to interact with the speaker regarding this aspect not about the speech he is going to make about what he has done so it is uh, not a good idea to call him just half an hour before or something because it may unsettle the person and not a good idea to do it too much early because the person might not have prepared himself sufficiently best thing is one day before i do it and for some of my uh, people whom i evaluated the speech of in medley also they know it so call one one day before and uh, you uh, try to find out about the project how he has done then of course the generic evaluation go to the next slide please the example project assessment because i want uh, this is to be understood most importantly so i have taken an example level 1 uh, project 3 researching and presenting why i took this was this is one of the uh, worst done projects i have seen even cc7 which is researching and uh, project was also badly done by most people and i am seeing in the different clubs this is one of the worst done projects because people are not doing research at all even today morning i was involved in a singapore club they also they did the same thing they are not doing researching and presenting they are just doing an informative speech they are taking somebody else's research or some else information and simply presenting them without any effort from the side accepting taking that so but in researching and presenting what we have to do start with topic selection you should not have a too familiar topic obviously because we are not going to ask albert einstein to talk on relativity he doesn't have to do research he knows everything he is the one who started the whole stuff so you should not be familiar to you too familiar to you should not be too familiar to the, your audience in general even if it is somewhat well known topic for example covid 19 is a very well known topic but there is lot of scope for confusion nobody knows clearly what is what in covid 19 every day we keep on getting lots of different different things so this is a very good and a difficult uh, area to do research on so the topic selection should be careful then data source the project clearly mentions the different type of data sources please go down go down further the data source there are experiment survey interview literature these are the four common thing experiment is you yourself do something come up with some data okay this is very rare nowadays most people for the sake of a project they are not going to start this but it cannot be ruled out okay it can be done but survey is quite easy to do it you can conduct a survey with, within the to sponsor club or outside in the community or do something and collect lot of data and then try to do some research out of it interview is another thing given in the to sponsor uh, manual itself here you know there are some experts you are not an expert your audience wants to know about it but you know some experts two or three or one even only one if at all you interview them you prepare a series of questions interview them get all the answers for them and based on that as a data you start doing your work the fourth one is the most commonly done by most of our toast masters this is literature when what is a literature uh, wikipedia and uh, google general searching for any website or blog or quora this is a very bad type of data credibility is not at all good wikipedia and google are very good starting points but they are never the last word so what is a good literature journal articles or reputed university websites or institutional websites and such things where you can depend on the data where anybody else can go and refer that type of thing so this is the literature go to the next slide go to the next slide please are you able to see sir I... yeah yeah it's coming so here data sifting collation and inference this is the job done by the toast master the individual so when you collect lot of data you should collect for studying the topic nicely extensively so that you have a depth of understanding in that but all of them cannot go in a single speech or in a single report okay so you have to have a focus and limit the scope depending on that you weed out 
extra things which you have collected in a separate uh, folder or something like this then with this doing you try to analyze and make some sense out of it you have to draw your own inferences if there is no collation analysis and inference it is not research if somebody else has done it for you or simply presenting it is an informative speech please go down further okay another important point is what change in the post setter assessment in uh, post pathways projects we have got an assessment of five four five points and in the end again we do an assessment in the setting and presenting it will be very interesting to see whether there is a change in the post assessment compared to the pre assessment that is an interesting point which uh, the evaluator can interact with the uh, speaker before hand go to the next i have done a research on the researching and presenting speeches i heard i have got lots of them in the different clubs okay maybe at least some 20 25 i must have heard if at all i mean not more than that so uh, my research is was the topic is for pathways project evaluation that itself is the topic i collected the data by observations during toast master club meetings go down further on uh, the next page okay conclusion most evaluations are generic rare reference to project specifics this is what we find the it being generic is okay for a few project handful of projects in pathways where main part is only speech making there is not much of studying uh, doing something or arriving at something or surveying nothing is there directly speech making so in that case the generic evaluation is okay but in most other cases the it has to be project specific and then the first page of the evaluation form also uh, can you go down uh, okay probably there is nothing first page there are three columns one is you excel that and then uh, you can work on and then you should challenge yourself these three most of the time these three are also filled with uh, speaking skill aspects only by most of the evaluators i am seeing that but actually it may be the speaking skill or it may be the project specific which depending on which is more salient or significant to project go down further or go to the next line i think okay so what is the wake up call when you are evaluator study the full project document without this you cannot do this job prepare questions for the speakers get response to assess the project work when you prepare questions for the speaker the same set of questions will help you whenever you evaluate the same project in future also so it's not a waste you can put it away for future years get response to assess the project work i know there are speakers who just look at the purpose statement and nothing else about the project and they go on deliver the speech many times the speech may be really good also but whether it related pertain to the specific of the project is another question go down go down please yeah so include your assessment uh, in the evaluation project assessment i don't know how many of you are remembering my evaluation since midly the last 4 uh, 5 6 months at least somebody may be remembering always i include something about the project it doesn't uh, take more than 20 to 25 30 seconds maximum out of 3 uh, to 3 and 1/2 minutes but you have to do that occasionally you may spend more time also fill the first page evaluation form go down further with the most salient points generic or specific sometimes the generic this one like somebody's voice was not audible and it was a serious problem with the speech that occupies the first page nothing wrong with that but if the project specific things are there which are more important that they also should find a place in this one of these three columns go to the next one next one the lab the previous page i'm just keeping when you are evaluated okay this is uh, finished and now go to the next page next page uh, so we have like 
from now after this we have wake up call yeah from now you go to the from now from now is very simple assess project work assess speech combine both in your evaluation it is just a gist of the whole thing go to the next line next page this is for the evaluator but when you are the speaker study the project fully plan and do the project prepare and deliver the speech these are the speech don't directly go to the prepare and deliver the speech go down when you are mentor again study the project fully see the problem is the mentor evaluator and the speaker all three of them should study the project fully and then only you can guide the mentee as required the mentee should do that one when whenever wherever the mentee has got a problem you try to help him out in that go to the next page i think we have finished so for question and sense answers i want to keep it in i mean in our group i don't think there is time that finishes that i will give a quick uh, evaluation of the two evaluations today there is not too much to say because today's both uh, projects uh, mainly involve only generic evaluation both projects are like that uh, i have got some comments one or two things uh, jagan uh, das in the usual uh, contest uh, fit style he has got his own very well set style so he did that one then he said there are six points but he came up with only five it is not a good idea to mention the number of points in the beginning you know why because uh, six points may tire and vex the listener so but in the end you can say after finishing five points these are the five points you say because they know you have finished them all and uh, uh, you came up with uh, some recommendation about passing and uh, uh, vocal variety which was very relevant it was correct one in my opinion also and uh, what else okay you are uh, uh, the cont uh, content and style okay this i finish okay coming to the next one uh, was master shankar's evaluation he had many good uh, usual techniques used by the evaluating toast masters uh, but he was fumbling with words a little bit here and there probably his mind was not fully set okay we started with the quote uh, this is not a bad idea particularly it works well in the contest but the club we need not do it but it's nothing wrong in that and then uh, you talked about what you liked and your recommendation about mentor mentee relationship is a very valid one in my opinion also you know why we have seen we have been seeing so many people doing the same project so the theory part of this is a bit of a, a repeat for us so in each individual mentor mentee is examples may be more interesting that's a very valid point which i have told and a recommendation about flat tone is okay one point i would like to add for both of you is uh, you should in the beginning of your evaluation call for an applause because it uh, sort of eases the speaker who is listening to your evaluation more than that it wakes up the audience particularly in a live meeting when you are doing evaluation the applause certainly makes the audience to sit up and take notice so any questions you can please send thank you very much for the opportunity back to the tmod thank you for that session sir thank you thank you very much now we are coming to the end of the meeting from some spoken messages comes to you in so many forms so many voices so many ways all you need to be is aware because we all know our best best choice better our best better choices better choices better results with this i hand over the stage the presiding officer of the day toast master sharanya uh thank you uh, tm ori kalyan uh, so let me launch the polling so that everybody can vote I'll just give ten seconds for voting. So uh, today's meeting was uh, really interesting, and uh, we had uh, interesting speeches. Table topics was also innovative, and uh, the role players really did a very great job. And um, 
we also had a very great session session by uh, distinguished toastmaster sambhat saurya rajan sir on uh, pathways project evaluation it was really a very useful uh, useful uh, session sir and uh, our next meeting is on 2nd jan so we have our uh, installation for the next excom team uh, for uh, from the term uh, jan 2021 to june 2021 so uh, let's hear feedback of today's meeting from our guests so can we hear it from uh, sakuntala uh, i thoroughly hi hi saranya i thoroughly enjoyed the meeting actually it was wonderful a bit a bit sad because of the connectivity issue i couldn't hear half of uh, toastmasters narasimhan's uh, speech that you must see i thank you toastmaster saranan for inviting me for the table topic session thank you it's overall a wonderful meeting i learned a lot of things from you thank you thank you so much you over to you saranya thank you uh, sakunjala so can we hear it from uh, guest purna hi saranya i thoroughly enjoyed this meeting i just relived my office days like since i'm not working right now i can just imagine the words that is being used or consistently i'm hearing from my managers or someone who is really really close to me and it is on time i like the time that is being shared like um, uh everybody are on time and the time that has to be fixed and the hour counters and everything is like molding something like that molds a person uh, into a better uh, speaker uh, i thoroughly enjoyed thank you so much for the opportunity yeah uh thank you purna so can we hear it from guest uh, shankar it is uh, shankar ramika okay is not available so let me go with the results so today's best speaker is uh, toastmaster narasimhan congratulations narasimhan and uh, today's evaluator best evaluator is toastmaster jagannathan and uh, we have a best role player today is none other none other than our tmod toastmaster kalyan and the best tag player is toastmaster lavanya congratulations lavanya and the best tt speaker goes to toastmaster sundareshan sir congratulations sundareshan sir so uh, with this we come to the end of the meeting and i declare meeting number 605 close and welcome you all to the chat room